fuck am I sitting on? Oh, bonjour, I have not seen you, por favor. What does por favor mean, mister? Doesn't it mean like, crap, I don't know what it means. Are you focused? And my lighting is off. Ugh. My babies, my Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> Babies, my little sugar plums, I missed you guys so, so much. Please forgive me. I hope you guys aren't too mad at me. I know it's been over a month of no videos and I profusely apologize. I feel so incredibly bad. Um, right now is crunch time till the wedding. We have about seven weeks left and I have just been crazy busy. Every weekend or every day, there's literally something that we have to do for the wedding. Even though it's an, a destination wedding, it's like we constantly have things that we have to go and do and buy and organize and I'm just like, holy cannoli, this is just getting really crazy. So I literally just took a two and a half hour nap and I woke up and I look crazy but today is my best friend's boyfriend's birthday and we're going out tonight to celebrate him so I gotta put some makeup on my face and look a little bit presentable and I haven't talked to you guys in so long and I miss you guys so much that I'm like okay I'm not gonna do like a real tutorial because this will probably be a look that's so so simple um, but I wanted to do a chit chat tutorial because you guys seem to really like that I just want to catch up with you guys it's been forever and then we can go right into tutorials I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of off I feel like it's off and do you guys remember there used to be a picture there I was like my room is a mess I'm living in a disaster zone and basically like a World War three zone and um, I was pulling something like on the back over here and the picture frame fell and it I don't even know if it broke it's hiding behind my chest of drawers here okay so how you guys been so the first thing that I did is I just went in and I moisturized my lips with some of my Jack Black lip balm as you can see my lips are really really chappy because the weather in Toronto is just crazy and one day it's like really beautiful and warm and the next day it's like minus 20 and I'm just like girl get it together a monthly friend came a few days ago or yesterday actually yeah yesterday and I'm in um, a lot of pain and a lot of discomfort and um, I want to eat everything in sight I usually, because I've been like working out and eating healthy, have been like eating really clean and really good. And I have been eating like such a little piggy this past week. And even today, like I woke up from my nap and the first thing I said to Brandon was like, what are we eating for dinner? <laughs> One of the other things is I gave up sugar. Brandon and I both gave up sugar for before the wedding um, just to kind of clean out our system and just help with like, you know, getting rid of all the gunk. So we haven't had sugar since the beginning of the year and um, today I am feeling that I need sugar so badly. Like we went to Eden Center today. Um, we had to pick up like our wedding rings and Eden Center is this big mall in Toronto and we went there to get some like wedding stuff and just to go shopping and when I was there like I wanted ice cream and I wanted a frappuccino from Starbucks and I wanted bubble tea and I was just I wanted everything and even now it's so hard for me not to eat something that has so much sugar in it because the cravings are just out of whack I think I'm gonna start with my face first I literally have no idea what I'm gonna do I haven't worn makeup guys since my last video so I haven't worn makeup for like over a month here and there I would wear like mascara and blush and those kind of things but I haven't done like a full face of makeup in a really long time so I feel like I'm a beginner again like I feel like I forgot how to do my makeup I think I want to go for dewy skin just because I feel like my skin is really dry and needs it and I don't know if you guys okay like I know I'm brown but I feel like I'm very pale today like do you guys do you guys think that like I feel like my skin is getting paler and paler so I'm gonna go in with like glowy just dewy skin it's not gonna give me that much color but it will give me some nice glow and moisture looking skin moisture moisturized looking skin Oh, the other thing that I wanted to say to you guys was we reached 3,000 subscribers in January. I do not know if you guys knew that, but I was so happy and a 3,000 subscriber giveaway will be coming. That was such a pleasant surprise and such a pleasant way to start off the new year. So we did reach 3,000 subscribers. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. You guys are probably thinking, what the heck is wrong with this girl? I subscribed to her and she hardly puts out a video, but I promise you it's not like that. I usually try to get two videos up a week. It's just been so crazy busy, but now that I'm back into the filming routine, I promise the wait will not be as long. I will go back to my schedule and I think 
think I actually want to pre-film some videos for when I'm in Jamaica. Um, we're in Jamaica from April 5th to April 12th, but we get back to Canada on the 13th. And um, we are getting married on April 8th, 2016, which is actually our anniversary. So April 8th will be our seven years of dating together, and um, it'll be our wedding anniversary as well, which is really exciting. So Avi, I'm gonna go in with my True Match Lumi foundation. Oh, and I just sprayed on my skin the Urban Decay Dewy setting spray just to give me some moisture. So I'm gonna go in with this. This is my first time using it and I want to do a comparison video between this and my Beauty Blender because for those of you who don't know, this little baby is my bestie and I use it all the time. And because I've been using it all the time, I've really neglected this. So before I do a comparison video, I want to use it a couple of times because I've used my Beauty Blender like a million and one time. So it's not fair to just use it one time and give you a review. So I'm just working that into my skin. Yesterday at my church, we had this girls night. So it was like kids from ages, not kids, girls from ages 10 to 13 came to church and we had like a whole like girls night with them. We talked about body image and loving yourself. And um, we did like a whole skincare little session for them. I did a hair care session for them. And um, it was a really fun night. There was a nail station. There was a little photo booth area where they got to take their photos. And um, then we watched a movie. We watched the movie Soul Surfer. And it's the one, um, her name is Bethany Hamilton. And she gets her arm bitten off by a shark but she's a surfer and then it just and she was so young and um it just goes to show her story like about you know how she perseveres and uh she was a christian so like how her faith helped her get through everything and it was so good like i've never watched the movie i did hear about it like back in the day but it was so good i really really enjoyed it but i was so tired because the girls like you know they're young girls they have a lot of energy they didn't get to bed till around um 1 30 and then I didn't really sleep throughout the whole night and then I had to be up for seven o'clock so I was literally up every 20 minutes and then seven o'clock I was up so I'm, I was so tired today and then we had wedding stuff to do so when I got back home I said you know what B I need to pass out and I just went and I passed out and I just took a two and a half hour nap so I feel a-okay <laughs> Okay, first impression I do like it. It feels a little bit weird in my hand. I don't like how it feels like I'm so used to this like just holding it and you know I just like the shape of this so right now not loving the sh like it just feels it's not that I don't like it it just feels weird in my hand I have to get used to holding it but no complaints like I mean it was extremely fast and um works great like I mean I don't need to go over anything I have lost um quite a bit of weight and so today i really want to go for like a really extreme like highlight and contour because i kind of want it to be like va -voom. look at that girls you do not want that you want it to be straight this is what happens when you try to talk and you talk too much with your body parts <laughs> um yeah we're not doing anything crazy tonight we're just going to my friend's house and then from there i think we're going to like a bar or something Nothing too crazy. We probably won't even stay up that, that late. We have church tomorrow morning and then, I can't believe it. And then the weekend's over. Like, what the heck? It just started. It was just Friday. I really love these Bobbi Brown foundation sticks. Make contouring so easy. Back in with this little baby and I'm gonna go in with this side and start blending everything out. Well, it's funny because a lot of you messaged me and was just like when are you gonna come back to YouTube and where have you been and how come you haven't posted any videos and um, uh, some of you wrote on my Instagram and some of you wrote on my YouTube videos and it was funny because I, I didn't really think anyone was gonna notice that I wasn't making YouTube videos not that I intentionally wasn't making it but you know I would always be like oh I haven't posted a video in a while but I just didn't think people were waiting for my videos and it's so funny because a lot of you would say like I'm waiting for a video from you and it made me feel so nice I, I was like wow like it's so nice to know that you guys are actually enjoying the videos and you want to see more and I'm so grateful that you guys messaged me and let me know that let me know that I don't think that's proper grammar look how quick that blends out it's just beautiful okay I'm gonna blend out my contour with a brush just because um, I don't want to use that little sponge today 
I want to try to get it like as natural as possible and so I just want to start so I'm going back and forth just like in a straight line first and then once most of the product is blended out I'll go in circular motions also want to know from you guys what videos you want to see I had a ton of Valentine's Day videos planned and be just because I was so busy and there wasn't enough time I wasn't able to get anything up and that was totally bummer for me because I love Valentine's Day like Valentine's Day is one of my favorite days of the year and a lot of people are like it's so stupid and who cares every day should be Valentine's Day well you know what girl in reality every day is not Valentine's Day so to take aside one day to show someone how much you really love them I don't think that's a bad thing you know I don't think that taking aside one day to show someone how much they mean to you is a bad thing obviously I think it should be every single day but hey that's life reality is for most people it's not so I have always been a huge fan of Valentine's Day I remember as a young girl I would tell my teacher in elementary school that Valentine's Day was so important that it should be a holiday because I just loved it so much. Um, so anyways, uh, we didn't really do much for Valentine's Day. Our last kind of one before our wedding, so we were just trying to get everything together. Brandon sent flowers to my work, which was really nice. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen the delivery on my Snapchat. And he had like a balloon and a bear in there and he sent it to me on the Friday, which was the 12th. And um, then on the actual Valentine's Day, I did a juice fast in the morning, but then for dinner we went to this restaurant and we took did takeout. And it was so good, guys. Okay, so the, the place was called Fresh Off the Boat. It's a seafood place in Toronto at Spadina and Queen. Guys, holy cannoli. It was delicious. It was so, so good. In fact, I wish that we were eating it today because I got bad cravings. I feel like when I'm pregnant, I'm going to have like the craziest cravings. Like, okay, like I, most of you know, I'm a huge Chick-fil-A fan and the closest Chick-fil-A to us is four hours. So I literally feel like I would be the type of pregnant lady to be like to Brandon, go to Chick-fil-A, get me my sandwich and come back. And then he's the type of person that he would forget something like the sauce or something, right? So I would be like, go back, get my sauce and come back. Like I really feel like I would be crazy like that. Especially when I'm pregnant. I'm crazy right now and I'm not pregnant. So just imagine when I'm pregnant how crazy I'll be. Really guys, just, just think about it. <laughs> I haven't waxed my face in a really, really long time. So I don't know if you guys can see like all the hair that's on my face right now. But it, it feels so weird because usually I do not wait this long to wax my face. But I'm trying to time everything out. For all my hairy girls out there, you know what I mean. It's like you have to time out when you're waxing when you have a special event coming. And so I couldn't go and wax my face because I'm trying to time it out because my bachelorette is March 12th. So I need to kind of like prolong everything and make sure everything is spread out properly so everything looks nice and clean for the days that I need it. What did you guys end up doing for Valentine's Day? I would love to know all the little sweet things that you and your little hubby did. I wish you guys could see like how messy my desk is right now. I don't even have room to put things down. I'm like I'm holding things in my hand as I'm doing this. I'm just applying um, the Ben Nye Banana Powder to my skin. A lot of you have been asking me to update the description box with products, and I really will. <laughs> I'm just so lazy when I post the video. It takes so long, and I always make spelling mistakes. But, um, no, I promise you that I will. I'm actually going to take a day and go back and start doing videos. I'll go back from, like, most recent to oldest, and I will update the description box with all the products and colors like if somebody doesn't take a screenshot of this I will be really shocked um, and I'll do that for you guys so that you don't need to worry about that but I mean it might be quicker for now until I do that to just ask me about a product um, because I always check my comments always 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 so um, leave me a comment if you want to know a specific product and I'll, I'll for sure get that for you oh I got like a bunch of new stuff that I haven't even showed you guys I wanted to do like uh, what I got for Christmas and birthday and a haul video and so much time has passed that I'm like hey they don't want to see that anymore but I just want to tell you about two new pigments I got from MAC this one is melon which I actually think I'm gonna wear tonight and um, this one is called kit I can't pronounce that kit Skimis. Why do they make these stupid names that nobody knows how to pronounce? Like, don't they know that's bad marketing? If I can't pronounce it, how can you guys go out and buy it? Am I doing my makeup right? I feel like I'm brand new. <laughs> okay, let's get on to makeup. I am doing makeup. Let's get on to eyes. So we're going to go in with the Morphe Brush Palette. 
I believe so. So this is the pigment right here. It's like this really nice, like, re like really, it's like a melony, orange, copper, sunburn kind of color. It's perfect for spring and summer and fall. I'm a Netflix junkie and um, I finished catching up to Grey's Anatomy, which I was like loving the last time that we spoke. And now I'm on season 12, but I'm just kind of waiting for season 12 to come out on Netflix. So I started another series. I started Gilmore Girls now. I remember when I was like a young girl, Gilmore Girls would be on the TV, but I never really watched it religiously. But now I'm starting from like season one. I'm already on season three and I think there's like six seasons. So I'm almost halfway there. And um, it's just so funny to see how life was back in 2000 when I was a little girl, or I wasn't even that little. I was how old in 2000? Oh, I was nine years old. Okay, but like, it's just funny, like the difference that you see, like when they took orders and stuff, like they would write it down on a pad of paper and people still do that, but it's not as common anymore. And what else did would they do in Gilmore Girls that I was like, wow, you would never see that anymore. The cell phones that they had were so crazy and not everybody had a cell phone. Rory, the little girl, like the young girl, she has a pager, which like nobody has anymore. Um, I don't know, there's like a bunch of stuff. Why does that always happen? Like when you're watching it, you like have all this material to use, you know, you're like, oh my God. And then you're telling someone about it and you're like, uh, it's like, oh, that always happens like when I get into a fight, you know, like with someone, if I'm like getting mad at my sister or like my fiance and I have like all this stuff to say and then I can never think of what to say during the fight and then afterwards I'm like, oh, I should have got them with this one. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm just really building this color up. I'm not doing anything like crazy. I'm just going back and forth, building the color up. I'm going to go in with the pigment now, which is so pretty. And usually whenever I use pigments, I always do um, the eyes first. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to wear glitter. I really thought I was going to do like an everyday natural look. Um, but see how quickly things change. So that's the only reason why I did my face first. Otherwise, if you were deciding that you were going to do something similar, I would say just to make it easier, do your eyes first. So I'm going to go in with eye drops. I do have glitter glue, but I want to use eye drops instead. So I'm just going to dip my brush in some eye drops and then dip my brush into the glitter. Whoa, Nelly. Look at that glitter. Me likey. I'm going to let this dry before I move on to the other eye because what's going to happen is it's going to start to transfer on my eyelid. So I'll just let it get, let's just give it a minute or so. Just chill like this. Look like a pirate. <laughs> As you can see with the glitter, I'm patting the glitter. I am not swiping. You never want to swipe. If you swipe, it's just going to like fall off and get all over your skin. It's not going to look as pigmented, which is what you want with the glitter. So I'm literally just patting it where I want it. I'm going to let my eyes dry for a bit and move on to the rest of my face. Okay, I'm going to spray my face again. Oh, just wasted some. Oh, I can't find my Bobbi Brown highlighter. What did I do with you, Bobby? Bobby, Bobby, I need you. Oh, found it. <laughs> it's just really messy in here. You guys ever like stress about what you're gonna eat for dinner? Like right now, I'm stressing about what I'm gonna eat for dinner because I want it to be delicious, but I don't want to make the wrong choice, you know? <laughs> Let's fill in these brows, these bad boys. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use my NYX Mosaic blush in the color Love. It has like orange and brown like little pieces so it'll tie in nicely. Oakley dokley. Hey guys, sorry if you hear like Indian music blasting. That's because my mother is home now and <laughs> she's blasting some Indian music. But basically this is the completed look. This is the outfit I'm wearing. Can I show you guys? This is the top. Um, I'll have to show you guys. The back looks like that. I have to show you guys the pants. It's like those Lululemon pants that I bought with like the mesh. Yeah, but um, I haven't gotten ready and gone out in a really long time, so um, it feels nice to get dressed up and go out. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this Get Ready With Me chit-chat video. Um, I missed you guys so much, and I will be doing more videos soon. I promise this is just a little taste of what's to come. Please make sure to leave me any of your requests down below, and I will get started on those videos ASAP. I love you guys so much. Don't you ever forget you are so beautiful. Bye, guys.